Hey, my name's Dustin Hutter, and this is, oh my god, that's vegan! I'm here with Miyoko Shinner, the one, the only, thank you for joining me today. Uh, one and only what is The what one and know. only vegan goddess uh, of all! 2015 all right. was like, the year of Miyoko. It was a great year, it really it was. It was awesome. Yeah. Miyoko's Creamery, that's Miyoko's the brand. Miyoko's Creamery, that's yeah. the brand, and it's delicious. And we got butter and fresh vegan mozz rolling out right now. I'm sorry, you got butter coming? We got butter. It's better. She's got better butter. I used to make cheeses from your artisan cheese cookbook, mm -hmm. and they were fantastic. Mm -hmm. And now you've come out with the homemade vegan pantry. This book is everything. Everyone should have it in their kitchen. You cover it all. You've got condiments in there, you've got main dishes, you've got mixes you can make. That's right, that's right. Yeah, so everything is homemade. Yeah. And when people think about homemade, they think it's, you know, cooking from scratch is really time consuming. But if you make instant things that are homemade, like these instant, uh, the macaroni and cheese we're gonna have today, that's an right. instant cheese mix. Or if you make a homemade uh, biscuit mix or pancake mix or cake mix, you can make homemade things in an instant. And you make these mixes so that I, you can have like a batch waiting in the cupboard. That's exactly right. And then you yeah. can go and use like, you know, a third cup or whatever it right. is that you need of That's it. That's right. And you've got your staple waiting That's for right. you in the cupboard. Mm -hmm. The recipes in here are great, but also the photography, the book in general. Well, I had nothing to do with the photography, so <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take credit. You've got a recipe for a seafood chowder in there. You've also got the San Francisco fab cakes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people actually ask me, why are they called fab cakes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna guess, uh, cause they're fabulous. They are. Yeah. You've got the chocolate cake mix in there, biscuit mix. Oh yeah, I bake a cake for uh, employees every single month in Miyoko's Kitchen. We have, and I always use my cake mix, which makes it so easy to do. Do you do like a different kind of cake every month? Or yeah, like so big, I do a big sheet cake for whoever, you know, we have like one birthday per month for whoever So you celebrate whoever had a birthday? Yeah, yeah. It's like Miyoko's yeah. Birthday Club, basically. It is, basically, yeah. Oh, and you yeah. get to join if you work at Miyoko's Kitchen. I want to be part of Miyoko's Birthday Club. You've also got some entrees in there. You've got mains. You've got right. the, yeah. um, I, there's a beautiful picture of the Italian meatballs in there. Yeah. You can make tempeh from scratch. You show us how to do mm -hmm. that. Well, what I, and tofu too. Don't forget tofu. The, there's really, it's really interesting. When you make something like tofu, it's almost magical how you can turn soy milk into tofu within minutes right before your very eyes. Crazy. It's really exciting. Today, we're going to make the well-crafted macaroni and cheese mix from here. I love this recipe because I, as a kid, grew up on macaroni and cheese out of the box. And what was the brand? Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. And I wanted to call it C-R-A-F-T, Kraft Macaroni and Cheese in the book. Could you not? No, the legal department oh. at Random House. Okay. So it became well crafted. <laughs> I think that's genius though. Yeah. You're getting something that's better than the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese because again, you know what's in it. So the well crafted macaroni and cheese, we're gonna make it for you today. Let's go through the ingredients for okay, them, shall let's we? Do that. For the well crafted macaroni and cheese mix, you'll need one cup cashews, three quarters cup nutritional yeast, a quarter cup oat flour, a quarter cup of tapioca flour or starch, same thing, one tablespoon paprika, one tablespoon sugar, two teaspoons powdered mustard, two teaspoons sea salt, two teaspoons onion powder. And that's all. So what you do with those ingredients, you just stick them in the food processor and run it for a few minutes until it gets nice and powdery and smooth. Mm -hmm. And once you're done with it in the food processor, you can put it in a jar for storage. Mm -hmm. And it's got about five servings in it, I think? I think so, yeah. Excellent. Actually, a little bit more. Okay. I think, yeah. Well, more is always better. More is better. And then you can also, if you want to make it even easier, you can take the amounts and portion them into little snack, like Ziploc right. bags, maybe. Mm -hmm. I always think this was great when I saw that. I thought it'd be great for like, if you're a vegan family and the babysitter comes over. Well, that's the, yeah, that's the idea. It just makes it so easy. Or if you've got a kid, you know, who comes home and wants to make a yeah. mac make macaroni and cheese in the afternoon. So of course, it's, you're not just sprinkling the powder on the pasta. You have to, of course, dilute it with milk, just like you would with regular box macaroni and cheese and just heat it up so it forms a nice thick gooey sauce. Great. Cheese sauce, and then you just toss it with some cooked macaroni and you've got an instant meal. And then you've got well-crafted macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna give this a go. Okay. It's the only mac it's and easy. cheese you need. That's right. Mm. Fantastic, oh my goodness. It's comforting, huh? It is comforting, very comforting. Now, 
I have the hard-hitting question that everyone wants to know. If you could be one kitchen appliance or cooking oh, utensil, Jesus. Okay, one what would it be? One kitchen appliance. Prob- this is really boring. That's okay. Um, well, how about two? I'm fine with that. I'm okay. Fine with that. Okay, a wooden spoon. Okay. And a knife. All right. Yes. That's great. Why a wooden spoon? Because it does so many things. It stirs everything without scratching. You can crush things with it if you need. Um, you know, you need something, you need to be able to cut and you need to be able to stir. Those are the two things You're that you need. You're absolutely correct. Run out and get the homemade vegan pantry by Miyoko Shinner. I can't say enough wonderful things about these books and this woman who has given us all of the awesome, amazing, vegan, delicious food that you've given us. Oh, yeah. Truly appreciate it so much. Um, and where can we find you? Website, social media, tell uh, us where we can well, find you. MiyokosKitchen.com. MiyokosKitchen.com. Yep. So make sure you check out the website and Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to see all things Miyoko. And check out another episode of Oh My God, That's Vegan next Thursday. And also, so excited to announce, Tuesday, February 2nd, you can check out the Vegan Roadie Season 2 Kickstarter campaign coming live to you. We hope you'll take a look, support, watch, and love it. We'll see you later. Thanks, Dustin. Bye.